I didn't see the belt through the whole first COVID lockdown. Then after the COVID lockdown, I grabbed it off Eugene and I kept it in my in my house for a while. And then about eight weeks, nine weeks out from the fight, I took it back to the gym and I was like, here, I just don't want to see it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want it in my house. You know, there's just marks on the wall where it used to stay. But I know I have to get it back. That's the mentality that I keep. I stay woke and I stay broke. Why is it that you didn't want it in your house for too long? I don't want to get attached to it because, like I said, a lot of people get comfortable. They get complacent. They think this is it. Like, it's easy to get to the top. But it's, I mean, it's hard to get to the top, but it's harder to stay on top. And you've seen a lot of these guys who, you know, they win the belt and then the next fight, they lose their belt. You know, I'm, I'm not one of those guys because I've defended my belt twice now against Whitaker and against, um, what's his name, Romero. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to defend it for a third time this weekend. And I'm not one of these guys, man. Like, I don't want to be, you know, thinking like, like I know, I know I'm the shit. You don't have to tell me I'm the shit. But also I have to remind myself that, I have to remind myself that I'm not, I'm not shit. Like, I still have a long way to go. So that's why I do shit like that. I just take it out of my house because I don't want to feel too comfortable as all that. Mm -hmm.